Okay, we are live. Thank you for joining me at Sweet Savant on Facebook Live. And today let's talk about splurging versus saving in the kitchen. Cast iron enamel Dutch ovens. They can range from pretty cheap to very expensive. Is it going to be worth it to spend more money? Let's talk about it. So I'm going to start off by just telling you what I have here. I've got the Mac Daddy of them all, Le Creuset. This is a 5.5 quart enamel coated Dutch oven. Then we have this Tramontina enamel coated Dutch oven. This is from Sam's. This is a 6.5 quart capacity. We have this one by Lodge, which is six quarts, a six quart capacity. Also, enamel coated cast iron. And then this one right here, I just threw this little one in the mix. This is from World Market. It is uh, called lightweight enamel coated cast iron. You see it's a little bit different, it's smaller, it's only four quarts. It's got a glass top, but I can pick it up with one hand. The rest of these, pretty heavy. I actually have the weights here. The Le Creuset is 15.4 uh, pounds. The Tramontina, 13.6 pounds. Lodge, 14 pounds. And this, that's about 3 pounds, 4 pounds. Pretty light. Now, that will make a difference when you're cooking a big pot roast, you're braising something. When this 15 pound cast iron um, Dutch oven is full, it's gonna be very heavy. But honestly, nothing cooks like a good heavy enamel coated cast iron pot. They're great and I love them. So, the price differences, they're significant. The Le Creuset is our most expensive this one, the 5.5 quart, runs about $320. What? Oh. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't know if you heard my husband there, his reaction. Yes, the regular price for that is $320, more or less, depending on where you get it from. Um, uh, Crate and Barrel carries them, William Sonoma carries them. I found this one on clearance at William Sonoma for $140. So that's right. I grabbed it up so fast, uh, you would think I stole it. I could not let that pass me by. The, the price uh, to get something like that for $140 is a steal. So if you can find it on sale, I say get it. This is our cheapest one, the Tramontina. This, um, I got it from Sam's Club, it's $40, $39.99. That's eight times less than your Le Creuset. That's a significant difference. Now, is Le Creuset worth eight times more? Well, we'll see. Let's talk about it a little bit more. We'll see. This Lodge 6 quart cast iron, uh, an coated cast iron, was $89.99. And this lightweight enamel coated cast iron was $39.99 at Wall Market. Um, I don't think you can find it anywhere else. The Lodge you can find online. I actually picked this up in my local Kroger. They have them in stock. And uh, like I said, Le Creuset you can find from a number of outlets. And some. Uh, some outlets have their exclusive colors that you're only going to get, say, at Crate and Barrel or at Williams Sonoma. And um, the colors that Le Creuset comes in are just amazing. And, um, you know, you're not going to beat the variety of colors in uh, Le Creuset. However, I got to say, Tremontina has some beautiful colors, and I love the way this shape looks. Now, you'll notice that. This Le Creuset one, of all of these, it's our widest pan. And that makes a big difference when you're browning meats for uh, a stew. 
you're braising. If you're browning meat, you're doing a batch just so that it doesn't steam, you're going to be able to brown more meat in here at one time than you are in this pan by Tramontina. It's much narrower at about nine inches in diameter. This Le Creuset is about uh, 13 inches in diameter. The large one, it's wider than Tramontina, but not as wide on the bottom. If you see, the actual base of the pan is right here. It looks a little wider on the sides, but the base diameter is much narrower. So you're not going to be able to brown as much um, at one time in the lodge, in the Tramontina. And surprisingly, the World Market brand, the base is a little bit wider than the Tramontina, about the same, to a little wider than the lodge. So that's going to give you more cooking surface. Le Creuset, made in France. Um, Tramontina, made in China. Lodge, while Lodge is an American company, the enamel coated cast iron is made in China to Lodge specifications. And the world market one is made in China as well. Well, when it comes to quality, you're really not going to beat this Le Creuset. I believe the enamel coating, they have put like seven layers of enamel coating. So you really, you rarely get a chip in them. And if you do, you can send it back and they will uh, fix it or replace it. So it's really a lifelong item. The ones from Tramontina, they tend to chip a little easier. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to come around here and show you. I gotta move my light out of the way. But this one had, I don't know if you can see there, a little bit of a, um, like a fault in it. Mm, it's not really showing up on camera. But it had a couple of faults in it when I purchased it. Nothing major, nothing that inhibits cooking, but it's, it wasn't perfect. And if you feel the inside of the lodge pan, it's a little bit rougher than the Le Creuset pan. It's a bit of a more smooth coating. The World Market, I feel like I'm going to pull a rabbit out of one of these things, like a magic trick. The lodge is the smooth, I'm sorry, the World Market is the smoothest finish of them all. So, as far as long-term, lifelong use, Le Creuset beats it all. On a budget, though, you're really not going to go wrong with the Lodge. At $80, $90, sorry, it's a good value, and it's going to last a good long time. I see I have some questions, but my phone is far away from me, so I can't see them as I'm talking. I will, however, go through the questions. Um, at the end, scroll through them and answer them. But um, you can, you know, keep asking them and I'll scroll through them or you can uh, hold off on the end and we'll talk about it later. So some of the other brands that you can buy, um, they're all less expensive than the Le Creuset, um, are Staub, Cuisinart, Mario Batali has a line. I haven't used any of those, but I just want to let you know there's some options out there for you to try. Um, and oh, a little bit about how it's made. So this is cast iron like, let me show you the uncoated cast iron. I have some. Oh, so that's heavy. So that is your uncoated cast iron. It's super heavy, but it's very durable. And in order to coat them with enamel, they make a powdered glass that they cover this with and it gets baked on at temperatures between 1200 and 1400 degrees and it creates that slick surface. And to protect that surface, 
You don't want to use metal utensils. You want to use nylon tips, tongs or spoons so that you don't scratch or discolor the inside of the um, vessel. They also recommend that you don't cook at very high temperatures, that you heat your pan over medium to low heat and let it just slowly get hot and it's going to maintain that heat throughout your cooking, give you a nice even cooking. So those are some of the features of the cast iron uh, enamel coated, enamel coated cast iron pans. Again, Le Creuset, you know, if you're getting married, put it on your wedding registry. Um, maybe that favorite aunt will buy it for you. If you're looking for a good lower price substitute, Lodge makes a good one. They don't come in as many colors, so you know that might be a negative if you have your heart set on that eggplant color to go with your tableware. You might not be able to find it in some of the other varieties. Um, but I gotta say, even though I don't think the Tramontina um, Dutch oven is as well made, I think it's really pretty. It comes in a few colors. Again, I got it from Sam's Club, and they have uh, off-white. They have this turquoise. They have a few other colors available. I just think the shape of it, it's gorgeous. And one of the benefits of that is that it goes from your stovetop to your oven to right on your table. So if you're making, say, a big braise in one pot and, you know, uh, some rice in another pot, those can go straight onto your table if you put a trivet underneath and you can serve out of it. They're just beautiful. Um, so I think uh, that's it. If you have any questions, I'm going to come on over now and I'll be able to see them in real time and answer them. Let's see. Oh, Herb, thank you. He uh, said he loves my skillet pressed chicken. Thank you so much. Let's see if I can raise that up a little bit. Yeah, that's, I love that recipe. Yeah, uh, Herb says, I love my Le Creuset, but it is expensive. It is very expensive. Um, like I said, if you can find it on sale or if you can visit one of Le Creuset's outlets, that is also a good um, way to get some Le Creuset. They may, they're, they're seconds, so they're maybe not be perfect. They may not be perfect, but I've got, uh, you see this terrine back here? I'm going to go run point it. This tureen I got from the Le Creuset outlet in uh, South Carolina. Now, it says it's a second. I don't see anything wrong with it. I examined it. It looks perfect to me, and it was 40% off the regular price. Most of the items at the outlet were 40% off um, at the Le Creuset outlet. So that's a good option if you have one near you. And uh, also online, um, every once in a while, they'll have a sale, and you can oops, let's see, and you can get it at a better price. So, if anybody has any more questions about uh, the cast iron, enamel coated cast iron, if not, then we're just gonna wrap it up. So, thanks so much for watching, and have a delicious day. Thank you.